Yeah, it was an amazing year. You know, uh, been after this for a long time. Uh, proud of what we were able to accomplish. Those seniors were amazing leaders for us and, and kind of led that campaign a little bit. Um, you know, and, and to, to pretend it wasn't a huge step for us going into the future is a lie. It was big. It's what we needed. We need a shot in the arm with some energy around here. It's a lot of hard work and commitment and dedication without much result in the win-loss column to finally get it and accomplish some of those goals on paper that we've been trying to do for a long time was big and, and, and you feel the energy from it. You know, was, the question quickly became in the off season, are we gonna handle this right? Are we gonna take a deep breath and relax? And or are we gonna use this juice and energy to go get the next step and, and get even better and work even harder? And I think that the thing I'm the most proud of is the guys have fully done that. From the day the, you know, the horn blew in the bowl game and all the success that happened, We've been after it harder than ever. We've worked harder than ever. A more committed off season than ever. And the best camp I've been around in my whole career. So a lot of excitement right now for sure. Yeah, I think it's easy to look at our group and say, boy, all that production's gone. The quarterback that broke all the records, the tight end that goes to the NFL, the two senior starting outside receivers offensively, right? The two linebackers that are the, you know, the heart and soul, of the defense, the, the the sack and TFL guy with Andrew. It's like, man, all that production's gone. But I'll, I'm just telling you, you'd be making a mistake if you think that we didn't reload. It's an amazing group of young kids that now are getting their shot. We added some nice transfer pieces. I think like the boring answer uh, for the outlook is I just, for the first time in my career maybe, I can't find a hole in our roster. It's a pretty good feeling. Doesn't mean we don't have work to do. It doesn't mean that, that things can't happen and injuries can't happen, um, but it's the probably the most talented front-loaded group I've ever had and the deepest group I've ever had all at the same time. So um, again, got to coach them hard and, and, and uh, don't screw them up. Just let these kids play. We're so talented and deep that it could be an exciting year for us. For sure, I think it's the cliche answer, but it's really how we're trying to live. Like one week wars, man. Like let's not look at anything but the next opponent. Um, cause, cause you're right. I think the, the different kind of challenge is, Hey, they're going to be after our ass a little bit. You get a preseason national ranking and you, you did all this stuff historically that, that a lot of people haven't done around here. And all of a sudden you got this mark on you, but it's, it's a new motivating way to go play football. But I, really that, that stuff's great for, we say for off season motivation. When we get in season, it's more about us really. Let's make sure we're ready to play the next opponent. And like I said, I just, I couldn't be more proud of the, the approach in, in camp and the energy and, and effort and dedication and kind of this, by the older guys, this known um, situation where it could be easy to relax and we're just not going to let it happen. We're going to get after you harder. I think that as we finally got going live and could see guys play, it was confirmation of what we thought we might be able to do. You know, it's like all the excitement with the best recruiting class we've ever had coming in, a lot of production coming back, even though we graduated some key pieces. Again, adding some transfers, like, boy, we think we might be good. We think we can do this. Um, and then those live reps, all of a sudden, you kind of looking around at those coaches saying, boy, we could really do this. This could really happen for us. So I think camp's been a confirmation of this could be really special. But you know you play in the best league in the country. One bad thing happens, it can unravel fast if you're not careful. So uh, you, gotta, you gotta stay into it every single day. And, and, and they've done that, they've kind of answered the bell every day. It's like, can we match the energy from the great practice we had the day before? And they've done a great job of it. I think it'd be easy to, to take, a, take a breath and overlook these guys if you're not careful. I think they, they had a rough win-loss season last year, but this is a super good football team. They gave us fits in the first half. We're 17-7 at half, and one of the scores is a pick six. And so uh, we didn't exactly cram it down their throat to start the game. Um, they returned an All-American linebacker, as good of a backer as I've seen on film. I thought their corners were great last year. They've added a transfer quarterback that can really play. They got speed in the slot position. They got two tailbacks that can really run. Um, I, I would imagine, I told the team this, they're sitting there at their place saying they can beat us. They, they have belief and hope that they can beat us. So we better get our butts ready to play. I think we will. Um, like I said, we're hungry to play somebody else still. That, that camp feeling, you're still ready to hungry and go play another another opponent, hit somebody else. But um, I'm impressed with I think they're well coached too. I think they're very well coached. And uh, but it'll be exciting to go play somebody else.